Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a spiral shirt. I've washed and dried my shirt, soaked it in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I spun it out of my panda spin dryer and so it's just barely damp. I also have it turned inside out. For this spiral, I'm going to begin the spiral on the back just because I would like to have the front of my shirt be nice and flat. Generally, whichever side you start your spiral on is the messier side of the shirt. I'm beginning my spiral with a fork, and as I turn the fork with one hand, I'm using my other hand to form additional folds in the shirt. Once I have the entire shirt spiraled, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. Now that the shirt is tied, I'm going to go ahead and use a washable marker and make myself some lines on the shirt where I'd like to apply the dye. I'm going to divide my shirt into four sections and I'm going to take each one of the lines through that middle spiral. Then I want to divide each one of those sections into areas. So I'm going to draw some circles on to divide my shirt. It'll make a little bit more sense when you see me start to apply the dye. The very first color that I'm going to apply is Alpine from Dharma Trading Company. I'm using that on two of the center sections that are across from each other. Several of these colors I've put down in some needle tip bottles which I purchased from Amazon. Down below this video in the description, you'll find links to where I purchased the needle tip bottles and several of the other things that I use when I tie dye. Then the next color is Dragon Fruit from Dharma Trading Company, and I'm using that on the two middle sections across from each other. The last section on these two areas, I'm using Grecian C from Dharma Trading Company. I'm going to make sure and add dye to the sides of this shirt as well as just the top. I'm adding quite a bit of dye to each of these areas, but I'm not oversaturating because I want to get all of the dye placement in there before I add too much additional dye. In the two remaining sections, the middle area of those I'm going to do in Sapphire Blue from Dharma Trading Company. The two inner portions, which are right up next to the spiral, 
our Plum Blossom from Dharma Trading Company, and the two outer areas are Royal Purple from Grateful Dyes. Here again, I'm making sure I get the sides of the shirt. Now that I have all of my die in place, I'm gonna go back and add more to each of the sections. I keep turning the shirt over to make sure I get good saturation. I want just a little bit of the colors coming through onto the other side. I've divided the back into two sections, and on one of those sections, I'm going to add Imperial Purple from Dharma Trading Company, and the other section is gonna be Strong Navy from Dharma Trading Company. I'm beginning with the Strong Navy, and I'm covering all of the white area that I have left, but I don't wanna oversaturate because I don't want it to go through to the front side and overtake all the colors that I put on the front. I'm going to repeat the process with the imperial purple on the other side. I put the shirt aside and I allowed it to process for at least 24 to 36 hours. Then I took it to my utility sink and I began to rinse my shirt in cold water. I rinse in cold to get out any additional soda ash that was left in the shirt. Then I gradually warm the water up on my shirt and continue to rinse. If my shirt is still bleeding a lot of color after I've rinsed in hot water for a while, I will fill my sink up with hot water and put just a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent down into my water and allow the shirt to soak. I continue doing the soaking process until most of the excess dye is removed. Once the rinse water is clear or close to clear, I put it in the washing machine with some hot water and Dharma's textile detergent, wash it, dry it, and then this is what our shirt looks like. I really like the way this one turned out. I wanted to experiment with putting the dye in some unusual places and seeing how it looks. And overall, I'm really happy with it. It gives an offset because I put the different colors on the back than on the front. And I like the combination of the purple, blue, and pink. I got fairly good color saturation. There are a few little areas where I probably could have added some more dye to get rid of those white spots. But overall, I'm really pleased with the shirt. So if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.